Hi, and welcome to phase three, also known as the engaged phase of CEH V12. In this video, I will take you through the engaged phase so you have an understanding of what this entails. Let's get started. CEH is all about the hands-on elements. In the learning phase, you learn new techniques of hacking through 220 extensive labs of the CEH V12 course. However, EC Council believes that repetition alone does not help you develop the skills required for the job. Repetition is memorization. What you need is to take the knowledge you have acquired in the learn stage of CEH to a whole new level. This is why EC Council introduced the engage stage in CEH V12. In this stage, you are faced with an environment in EC Council's live cloud-based cyber range, known as CyberQ. The engaged phase of learning takes the knowledge from the learning phase to demonstrate your level of understanding and apply the practical skills in the CEH V12 labs. The labs are on a live network topology environment that operates in real time. Students like yourself can see in real time what various systems look like, from Unix to Windows. CEH V12 provides 3,000 tools and technologies to get you the exposure you need to identify an attack of a compromised system or network, all of which are critical to know in the real world. The CyberQ lab set EC accounts apart from the basic learning approach as it takes students like you to a new level of learning and skill building. The practice component of learning in real labs differs from any other industry certification. The engaged phase contributes to a student's professional career as a cybersecurity professional. The engagement provides a real-life experiment and promotes critical thinking while increasing the cybersecurity awareness employers seek in the job market. The engaged phase is a terrific way to provide students and new employees with on-the-job training, saving employers time and resources when hiring cybersecurity professionals. The engage phase is an excellent way to prove you have what it takes to be a great ethical hacker with CEH Engage. As you complete your training in hands-on labs, the CEH practice range is ready for you to apply everything you have learned in a mock ethical hacking engagement. This four-stage security engagement provides you the opportunity to experience an ethical hacking engagement start to finish against an emulated organization. Using our Capture the Flag style range, you will complete your engagement answering flag questions as you progress. New to CHV12, you will embark on the first emulated ethical hacking engagement. This four-stage engagement requires the student to think critically and apply the knowledge and skills gained in the course to capture a series of flags in each stage. You will be demonstrating the live application of skills and abilities in a consequence-free environment. This is EC Console's new cyber range. As your first engagement, you will test your ethical hacking skills like never before. You have gained the knowledge, you have practiced through hands-on guided labs, now your mission is to apply your knowledge. Take on that hacker persona and find the vulnerabilities and weaknesses in CH Org, all built in our CH practice range. Armed with an attack platform, the paired OS, and a plethora of tools used by ethical hackers, you will embark on a four-stage engagement to assess CEH org security posture. Follow the process, practice your TTPs, and experience the real thing in a controlled environment with no consequences. Just the ultimate learning experience to support your career as an ethical hacker. Each stage builds on the last as you progress through your CEH org engagement. The practice phase challenges learners with conducting a real-world ethical hacking assignment. Applying the five phases of ethical hacking, reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, and covering your tracks. Stage one, the vulnerability assessment consists of footprinting and reconnaissance, scanning, enumeration, and vulnerability analysis. Stage one is critical for an organization. Information is collected through OSINT and scanning tools available in the market to collect data from companies. Attackers use this information to formulate a big picture of the target. This is the first step in ethical hacking. This step acts as a preparatory phase for the attacker. 
the attacker must gather as much information as possible to find ways to intrude into the target network. Scanning tools like Nmap, enumeration, and vulnerability analysis are critical for Network Defender to be aware of the threats while helping to deter attackers from entering your network. Stage two, gaining access consists of system hacking, malware threats, sniffing, social engineering, and denial of service. Attackers use vulnerabilities identified during the reconnaissance and scanning phases to access the target system and network. Stage two is the phase in which real hacking occurs. During this process, the attacker obtains access to the operating system or applications on the computer or network. Through the use of malware, sniffing, social engineering, and denial of service attacks. Stage three, perimeter and web app exploitation. This stage incorporates a number of different tactics and tools. They can include one or more of the following. Session hijacking, evading IDS, firewalls, honeypots, hacking web servers, hacking web applications, and SQL injection. Today, organizations use firewalls, honeypots, and various applications to deter attacks. However, if they are not properly configured, they can leave your network most vulnerable. Stage four, mobile IoT, OT exploitation includes hacking wireless networks, hacking mobile platforms, IoT hacking, OT hacking, cloud computing, and cryptography. When an attacker hacks into a network through these various exploitation tactics, their objective is to maintain access for future attacks, which leads to step five, covering the tracks. The exploitation can prevent the system from being owned by other attackers by securing their exclusive permit with backdoors, rootkits, or trojans. Attackers can upload, download, or manipulate the own system's data, applications, and configurations. Cyber professionals like you must be aware of these stages to secure your networks and your organizational assets. Stage five, covering tracks. Ensure that attackers remove any artifacts they use to exploit the target. Artifacts can include files, tools, beacons, and scripts. Attackers install rootkits or backdoors to go undetected. Where else would you find the opportunity to assess your skills in an environment where you can learn and grow? Enroll today and start a career as a cybersecurity professional. Visit www.ecconsole.org.